our next data type up is strings. What is a string? Well, a string is usually a string of text. That's why it has the name string. So it's a sequence of te text from left to right. And we use um, strings to represent words, names, sentences, paragraphs, full pages. So um, what we want to do here is first take a look at a string so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to create a string. We're going to say hello world. All right, there's our string. All right, so it's a sequence from left to right. H E L L O, the comma, space, world, or W O R L D. Anything contained in between the quotes here is part of the string. So the comma and the space are part of the string. Um, we also create a string with double quotes. Oops. Hello, world, like that. Creates a string. We're going to use triple single quotes to create a string. Hello, world. And we use triple double quotes to create a string. All right, so there's our four ways to create a string. All pretty simple. All right, but the rules of strings are a little bit more difficult to understand. All right, um, the first. The first thing is the sequence, so from left to right it's in a sequence, and it's each position's number, and it's referred to as the index. So the number starts at zero from left to right, so H would be zero, E would be one, L would be two, L would be three, zero would be four, space would be five, and so on. All right. So to enforce this uh, theory here to you. Um, we need to create a variable here so I don't have to write out hello world every time. Then we're going to slice out each character. So let's go ahead and say var is equal to, I want to make this easy, we'll just say hello. All right. We're going to say var and now we're going to do something called slicing. And what slicing does is it gets a character by its index location. Like I said, each character is an index or position. So we're going to go ahead and look at that. So square bracket and then we need the index position so the first letter in this um, string is zero as the index position hit return I get H all right so let's take a better look at this I'm gonna write a word up here we're gonna use hello my awesome handwriting all right so each character has an index position this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So knowing the index position, which if you had a really long sentence here, it'd be pretty hard to figure out, but knowing each index position, you can actually get each letter. So let me go ahead and get out of that. And let's try to get the third or the set the first L. So we'll do var square brackets, two square brackets, and that will give me the L, all right? And we can get the next L, bar, square brackets, three square brackets. I wrote par, I meant bar, like that. We get the other L, all right? So that's how we go through and pull out letters, and it enforces that a string is in a, in a sequence. Now, another important factor about strings is they're immutable. We cannot change them once they're created. So let me cl clear my screen here. And if you're wondering how you clear your screen, it's Command K. So I clear my screen, and I'm going to go ahead and create a, another string. And it's going to be the same one. Bar, hello. All right. Now, in theory, for me to change a letter in here, I would do something like this. Var, and I'm going to do the slicing, zero. All right, so I'm slicing. I'm saying, hey, I want that first letter. Then I use the uh, assignment operator, which is the equal sign, and then I'm going to put something new in there. So I'm going to say T for Tello. Hit return. Up oh, string object is not supported in item assignment, which means it's immutable. We cannot change it once it's created. Now we could copy it and change it and all these other fun things that we'll learn about when we get to. Um, 
the string section where we'll learn about all the methods and built-in functions that are involved in strings. So what, what should you take away from today? Know how to create a string, so we can use single quotes, hello. We use double quotes, hello. We use triple single quotes, hello. We use triple double quotes. So you know how to create a string. The next thing you need to understand is that it's in a sequence. So um, from left to right, it's a sequence. It always starts with zero and it counts up. So we'll call var, we'll do square bracket zero, square bracket h, all right? Now we could always come from the opposite direction from uh, right to left if we wanted to, and that would be like var square brackets negative one square brackets, boom, that gives me zero. And I can go for the first L coming from the right, do var square brackets, negative two square brackets, boom, L. All right, so if we wanna come from right, right to left is negative numbers, and they start with negative one. If we wanna come from left to right, then it's positive numbers, but they start with zero. All right, so with strings, they're pretty simple. Just gotta remember they're uh, in a sequence, left to right, and they're immutable. We can't change them once they're created. So, or the string, the string object, we can't change once it's created. So, um, we'll see you in the next tutorial when we talk about lists. See you then.